Hi guys, welcome to another episode and today we're going to be reviewing the all new Ford Cougar. As you can see, it's a really nice looking car. Um, it comes in this nice grey colour, this is the ST line. It's also a hybrid, so we're going to start with a little walk around. So we're going to come around to the boot first, because I want to show you how big the boot is. And the boot is really, really big. Um, the, my wheelchair actually fits in their hole, which is always a plus. Um, so we're going to start by pressing the boot button on the key twice and da -da. it's an electric boot which for someone like me or for anyone that has to put wheelchairs or disability aid into a boot or even shopping even as you can see it's massive massive boot one problem it's got a fitted parcel shelf and should that unclip from the boot lid itself if you're short like myself or if you're a carer and you're quite short and you want to re-clip that uh, parcel shelf on downside of it is you have to fold the seats down so you have to climb into the boot to hook it back on but never mind that like i said you can still get my wheelchair in their hole and other bits of shopping which you'll see in a minute um so yeah i'm going to come around then to the back um it's a very spacious car and i've got to be honest i'm really pleased with it and i like how just how big everything is and how spacious it is so you can see we've got half leather seats in here with nice red stitching, really stand out. I think that's part of the ST line and you get all these kinds of things with it. It's got electric windows all around, which is great. And then we're going to come around to the front. And as you'll see now in a second, you can see if just from the outside, it's quite a high up car um, and it is fairly difficult for me to get in. But I'm going to show you me getting in. It does take me a while, so bear with me. It's more of a climb, um, but I will do it to show you. And yeah, once we're in, we'll cover inside. We're inside the Cougar and as you would have seen me getting in is fairly difficult um, but that's just me it is you know getting into higher cars is always a struggle for me so it's not just the Cougar but that was a struggle didn't take my breath a little bit but once we're in it is a really nice display we've got loads of things going on so this is the ST line X edition it's a 2.5 Dura Duratech PHEV which means it's a hybrid so then it comes with the 19 inch alloys we've got your red brake calipers um what else have we got we've got sport suspension we've got the st line body kit you know you've got a lot of things going on we've got the led daytime running lights as well now this also comes with privacy glass on the on the back windows and on the boot um and then it's also got like you would have seen the hands-free tailgate which is always a bonus for someone like me um yeah so we've got loads of different things going on in here we've got a nice heads up display and which you can turn on off. I personally don't like that on. Um, then we've got the entertainment system, which is a nice size screen. Um, it's an eight inch color screen, which is great, which has also got a reversing camera built in when you put it into reverse. It comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, when you plug your phone in with USB. It's got your DAB radio, and then it's also got your built-in sat-nav, which I've actually used, and normally I don't like to use built-in sat-navs in cars. I always prefer, prefer to use uh, Apple CarPlay maps just because it's a lot it's a lot easier to use and one you always get to where you need to go whereas mostly cars were built in sat and i don't ever don't ever take you where you actually want to go but this one did um because i forgot my usb cable to plug my phone in on the way back from london when picking this car up from ford um so yeah it comes with your speed limiter so it's got cruise control it's got lane assist um which i did actually use a few times on the way back from london where the car will actually steer itself um as long as you're holding on to the ceiling wheel i did take my hands off the ceiling wheel to try it but there we go um but it just gives you a row to massive telling off telling you to put your hands back on the steering wheel or it turns lane assist off which i found that out as well um we've also got you can answer your phone on your on your steering wheel we've got a heated steering wheel even like i mentioned earlier um yeah it's got a lot of things going on now the one thing that i'm not too keen on is the gearbox um, it's a CVT gearbox which I find is over revs it's using more petrol than it doesn't need to um, but 
with it being a 2.5 petrol it is a fairly quick large car um what else have we got we've got park assist we've got full electric mode it's got parking sensors all around we've got this large um sunroof on the on the roof here which is great and it actually opens right out um i have tried it but it's too cold to keep it open um yeah there's a lot of things we've got large door bins um but what i do find is they're in like an awkward position for me so when i put something in there i can never get my hand in there enough because of the steering wheel and the door and the actual door panel in itself just gets in the way um and one thing i would like to mention which we found out the other day was we had to put petrol in and we could not find how to open the petrol lock space thing um and we were there for about 10 minutes trying to push it open to see if it opens you know we were looking down the side of the seats to see there was like a lever that we had to clip pull to open it and it turns out that it's actually on a little panel to your right to your steering wheel um, where there's also a button there to open the boot from inside you have to hold your finger on that um, but the button for the pedal tank is there on the right hand side in a little panel next to the some other little lights and switches um yes we've got like i said automatic uh, wipers as well um this has also got a low mode um which means that like if you're driving on a slippery surface it'll keep things your revs nice and low so you're not sliding and skidding um and yeah it's this it's a really impressive new cougar if i'm honest i'm really really impressed Driving the Koga is really surprising, um, considering it's such a large car, it tends to stick to the road really, really well. Um, the only thing I'm not too keen on is the CVT gearbox. It seems to like over rev for what you need, which uh, like, again then uses a lot more petrol. But it, like I said, it does stick to the road and it's a really smooth drive. Um, and I quite like the thing of being quite higher up. Um, and like I said, it's, it's quite good because as you corner in, it's still higher up, but you stick to the road, there's not a lot of roll in it. Um, so yeah, I do like it, and I really, really like the heated steering wheel. I mean, it's a cold day today, and I mean, as you can see, we're on top of the mountains, basically. Um, and outside it's freezing, and it's nice to come in with a nice heated seat and a nice heated steering wheel. Um, fuel economy mm, isn't too great, as it is a 2.5 uh, petrol. Now, even though it's a hybrid, um, Okay, around town it does use the electric and you can recharge the battery just with the petrol engine as you're driving along, so you can alternate. Um, but I mean, if you're using the petrol around town, that's not a good idea. But if you can use the electric part of it, brilliant. Um, we have driven in on a long run. Um, we've driven from London back here to South Wales. And he used about a half a tank. And I've got to be honest, that was a really smooth and pleasant drive. Um, and the weather wasn't too great either. Um, but I mean everything about this car is, is really surprising based to the older Cougar um, I much prefer this car much preferred it 
I found the older one was a lot stiffer, a lot more of a rough ride, um, and the fuel economy I found on the old Cougar was extremely shocking. Um, but this is just a fabulous car, really nice. Um, again, it is a little bit difficult for me to get into, but I mean, once I'm in, it's lovely, really nice. And I mean, with this particular model, you get the uh, electric seats. So I mean, it's even better again, because you haven't got to fuss about like trying to find the lever to move the seats if you're short like me. Um, it is really, it is a really nice car. And I think that, I don't know, I, if I was to have one of these, um, I don't know, I, I think I'd like it to begin with. Could I live with one? I don't know. I've, I tried living with one this week. Um, and yeah, it's okay, but for me, I don't know. I don't know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit torn between it, if I'm honest, between this and a Puma. Um, because this really is like a beefed up version of a Puma. Um, so yeah, let's have a little drive around. The Cougar has actually got a couple of different driving modes as well, um, which we've tried out. Uh, so it's got your normal driving mode, it's got sport mode, um, which extremely uses a lot of petrol, you know, you can actually watch the fuel gauge go down. Um, it's also got like a, a rock mode, so if you're driving over like an uneven surface, it is actually really good because we have, we have given that a try. Um, the one thing I did find that lets it down was it's got a slippery mode, which basically means if you're driving like on a really slippery surface, you know, it'll kind of alter the traction control a little bit. But, but, what I will say is it doesn't work. Um, because earlier on, we were driving through the lanes um, and there was a car coming the other way and we had to pull over into a little side ditch. Now, put into slippery mode, because um, that is actually what it's called, slippery. And unfortunately, it doesn't work, like I said. <laughs> All we had was wheel spin. Um, so yeah, there's that mode. Um, what else have we got? got eco mode then which is for your round town driving. Um, and then we've got EV mode, which is full electric. Um, and like I said, the full electric part is, is just brilliant um, because you can drive round town all day long, you know, and it, you get around, I think it's 24 miles to use um, on electric before you have to re then use the petrol engine. But I mean, if you know, if you're only going from your house down to town and it's not 24 miles or more there and back, you know, you kind of get, technically get a free ride. Um, as long as you don't have to use too much petrol and to recharge it. Um, so yeah, I, honestly, all these different modes, like I said, other than the slippery mode, um, which I find a shame that that doesn't work, but never mind, because like I said, you've got the rock mode, which that does work. Um, and then, like I said, you've got eco, EV, and maybe the slippery mode just didn't work simply because, you know, it wasn't the right sort of surface for it. Maybe, maybe it was too slippery because we have had really bad weather in all fairness. So. You know, I can't really knock it down, but I'm just saying that for us, the slippery mode didn't work. But other than that, I, you know, this car is just a general nice drive. Really, really nice. Like I said, it's smooth. You know, it, it runs nice and gently. You know, you, do, you don't really feel gear changes at all. Um, yeah, so that's all the different driving modes. I think I really, I really wanted to point them out. Um, because like I said, the slippery mode kind of let me down today. But, you know, was it a one-off? Who knows? Right then, it's time to rate this Ford Cougar, and I, I've got to be honest, um, I wasn't really a fan of the Ford Cougar previously, only based on the last model, but this one is massively, massively improved compared to the previous one, um, but I would just like to cover a couple of our reviews. So the first one um, is the accessibility. Unfortunately, just because of, for me, I'm going to score that at two because it is a, you know, a fairly decent climb in. Um, and then practicality though, I'm going to score that a five simply because you can get the wheelchair in the boot. So, you know, once you, if you can get in this car, then all well and good, because like I said, you, once you're in, you've also got the space to go with it. Um, performance, I'm going to score that a five just because it's really, really quick due to it being a 2.5. And I do like that fact of it. And then comfort, I'm also going to score that a four, um, simply because like I said, it's very comfortable and it just absorbs every bump in the road um so yeah that's the end of this video if you like this video don't forget to give it a like leave us a comment if you want to ask a question uh, also don't forget to subscribe and yeah check out the links below there's a link for the ford website um go to your local dealer if you want to test drive one of these cougars or even if you want to order one 
Um, and yeah, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, guys.